Hello, Steve White, Steve White, 89. Wow, you may have all seen that um, Australian actress Rebel Wilson came out recently. Um, this apparently wasn't by choice. Now, I saw this and I didn't think too much about it. I was sort of like, did we know that? I didn't know she was gay. Um, I didn't really think about it too much, but I always thought she was um, straight. I didn't really think about it. And then I saw the articles. Apparently, the Sydney Morning Herald was so gracious to um, message her, email her, and tell her, oh, we're about to do a story about you having a relationship with a woman, so we're going to out you, but you've got two days to respond to us and give us um, basically uh, some, some quotes to go with our article as we out you. And, well, for some reason she didn't want to, you know, um, you know, contribute to their article, and she put out an Instagram, I think it was an Instagram post, or was it Twitter? No, Instagram post on Thursday, the 9th of June, saying, I thought I was searching for a Disney prince, but maybe what I really needed all this time was a Disney princess. So they met about six months ago, and they're fairly serious. Um, I think she's met her mother, and they're talking about kids and marriage and everything. But um, yeah, uh, the Sydney Morning Herald in 2022 um, decided they were going to out this actor, and, um, yeah, they emailed her and basically tried to get her to contribute to their article with a quote. And then they complained afterwards, because they lost their scoop, um, they did an article afterwards complaining about the fact that she, you know, took their scoop away from them. How dare she not allow herself to be outed by them and for them to profit from it? It's just disgusting. I can't believe this is happening in this, you know, day and age. Um, I mean... I mean, I don't care that she's gay. I mean, I'm glad she's one of us, you know, hello. Uh, apparently, it's her first female relationship um, at 42. So I'm a little bit surprised there because I sort of assumed she would have just been in the closet because of, you know, her career and all that. But apparently, she wasn't in the closet. She just, um, I don't know, um, you know, but whatever. I'm <laughs> good for her, but she seems happy. Uh, but, I mean, she's just about to release a film on Netflix, Senior Year, which looks really good, actually. It's about a girl who is in a coma for 20 years, um, a cheerleader who's in a coma for 20 years and then wakes up and, you know, things are not as they were. And um, it's it looks really funny, actually. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty outraged that the Sydney Morning Herald decided... It was the Sydney Morning Herald, wasn't it, before I keep trashing them? Um, let me check. Yeah, it was the Sydney Morning Herald. Um, yeah, they just decided to out her, and then, you know, they, they dared to print an article afterwards complaining that she didn't go along with it, that she actually scooped them and, and took that two days to go to Twitter and, you know, out herself. And it's just, it's just really ugly and gross that people are doing this in this time. And, and it wasn't some dirty little rag somewhere, it was like the Sydney Morning Herald. If you don't know Australia, it's one of our major papers. Um, and it just shows, I just feel like we've gone backwards now. You may also not know that Rebel Wilson uh, won a defamation case a couple of years ago against Women's Day, and that was a big deal. So it looks like the media is still punishing her, and they got something on her, and they were like, yeah, we're going to use this. And yeah, they did, but um, yeah, just, yeah. Um, the, oh, sorry, <laughs> the lady she's with, uh, I think she's a designer. Her name is Ramona Agruma. Um, and yeah, uh, apparently they're happy, good for them, but yeah, they sh she should have chosen to do this when she was comfortable, when she wanted to do it. She shouldn't have been forced into doing it with two days notice, basically. Um, a, a, a basic threat. That, oh, well, we're going to out you in a couple of days, so you might as well just give us a quote so we can, you know, put something to it. It's just really, I've got nothing else to say about, it's just, it's just gross, and, um, I mean, I wouldn't buy the Sydney Morning Herald anyway, but I certainly, um, wouldn't after this. But, um, yep, I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, do you like Rebel Wilson? I've, I've seen her in a few films, um, and I've enjoyed her in a few films. Uh, I remember when I first saw her on Fat Pizza, um, and I remember looking at her and thinking, wow, she's not scared to just make fun of herself and make a character out of it, kind of like Roseanne had, but different. Um, like the single girl as opposed to the married la married lady. I thought if she could really, you know, um, perfect this act and this persona and this character, she could really go far with this. And and she has. I, I, I love it when I occasionally predict someone like that. I've, ha I've had a f three predictions of people I looked at for, they're going to go somewhere, and they really did. So I'm really glad that she's done so well. Um, and I'm glad that even though she lost all the weight, she's still working because I sort of thought well she will not be able to play the comedy the same way now she won't be able to use that same persona
but she's still Rebel Williams, she's still a star, and she's still doing well, she's just did the Netflix film, um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that, and I'm glad her career's going well, and I'm disgusted at Sydney Morning Herald, and I really, really, really wish her all the best in her life, whether she's going to stay gay, or whether she's um, going to go back to men at some point, or whether it's, you know, she's bisexual, or she's just... This is just um, a love thing, and it's not really about the sexuality. I don't know what it is, but I just wanted to have, you know, the best experience. And I really want City Morning Herald to suffer for this. They're getting a lot of criticism, a lot of press, a lot of attacks. They're, they're really, you know, surprisingly people are seeing this for what it is. And I really hope that um, they stop doing things like this. I'm going to go. I'm still talking. Bye.